Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm your host, Natasha Martinez. Up next, we go behind the scenes of a new documentary film called Strike a Pose. The film catches up with the seven dancers who performed on Madonna's infamous and controversial Blonde Ambition Tour, which was the basis for the hit 1991 film, Truth or Dare. Because of it, several of the dancers unwittingly became icons for gay rights and sexual freedom. 25 years later, we catch up with a couple of the dancers to reveal the truth about life during and after the tour and the significance of their courageous but harrowing journey. Check it out. It's a story you'll see only on American Latino TV. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. Strike a Pose is a movie about seven dancers who went on tour with Madonna during her Truth or Dare uh, Blonde Ambition tour. Tour is about freedom. Freedom as a human being, freedom in regards to speak the truth. It's about, you know, where we are at today in our lives and how we have dealt with coming to terms with just the insta fame that happened during that time that we were really totally shocked by and at the time, you know, unaware of. Do we care what people well, think of us? So the dancers on the tour were me, of course, Oliver Crooms, Carlton Wilborn, Kevin Stay, Slam, or Salim as his name is, Gabriel Trupin, and of course, my beautiful, beautiful dancing partner, Jose Gutierrez Extravaganza. The House of Extravaganza is an, an organization, an artistic group of kind of like freedom, freedom writers, I want to say, you know, from the community that made something out of nothing. I remember the first time I went to a ball and saw the whole voguing thing, you know, I was 16 years old. This was before I even you know, like dance professionally. And I was like, wow, what are they doing, you know, with these abstract model poses and they look like gazelles, I wanna do that. I mean, there were there are a lot of great vulgars during our time. I'd like to think that me and Jose and, and, the house, and our house members brought a different nuance to the voguing technique because we were trained dancers as well. So we brought in our trained, you know, technique into this voguing style and, you know, really just made it our own. You know, I'm from, you know, an urban community growing up. You know, my parents migrated from Dominican Republic, you know. They weren't, they didn't set out to make me a ballet dancer, that's for sure. You know, that wasn't in the cards. So, it was cool that I got this opportunity and then um, I um, went on tour with Madonna. I, 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 unbeknownst to me, I met her at a club through a friend, and she had heard about the voguing and heard that I was pretty good at it. Can you believe that? Does that sound like, no, that's a lie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, that's why I say God. The stars were aligned, I don't know. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Let's tell it to each other. Let's face it together. It got fun for a little bit, you know? the gay scene, but then like with, with AIDS coming out and HIV, everyone got really scared. And it would take somebody like Madonna to, to, to bring that to the forefront. Both films really came out at a point where I feel the community needed a little boost. Truth or Dare came out when the community needed a stronger voice, a voice that can reach more people than what the voices were reaching back then. I think Striker Pose reaches a new generation and sometimes, you know, we need somebody to say, yeah, you're, you're, you're doing good, you got, you, you got it, you're still good, baby, let's, you know, let's keep, yeah, let's keep going. Be proud, you know, be proud, whatever it is. Because everyone is someone.